if you've got two bodies that are attached together by a rope or a string and are being pulled up by a specific force then how do you think you are going to find for example number one your acceleration of the system how are you going to find the tension between the two bodies okay so obviously between them there there is tension okay but then there is also a force applied on the other side so or rather should we say tension two so you will have tension one and then i'll call that tension two right because they are attached by a string there okay so then what you're going to do is you're going to draw a free body diagram for each of the masses okay so let's start with a so you will say a and then you draw the free body diagram for for a so if you look at a you have um okay you have that and you also have okay so okay, and i'll explain that now okay so you have three forces uh, acting on a so you have basically tension two then you have tension one and you also have including with that the force of gravity of okay the force of gravity of mass a okay so and then now we're gonna so i'm gonna say let me label that that that's a for b you have two things so you have basically just the force of gravity and tension two so you have tension two and it's force of gravity gravity for b now you need to make obviously a equation for an equation for each of them so how do we do that so we're going to call for a the y equation for a equation number one so in this case so we will say f net for a is definitely equals to mass a times the acceleration which is therefore if i put the forces tension 2 which is positive if i choose up is positive so it will be tension 2 which is positive the forces downwards will therefore be negative minus tension 1 minus the force of gravity of mass a equals to mass of a times the acceleration then that would be equation number one for mass b you will then say okay obviously f net for b will be equals to mass of b times the acceleration so in this case if we chose we chose up as positive so So I made a mistake there. I said tension two. No, it's supposed to be tension one. So it's supposed to be tension one. I'm sure maybe some of you have spotted that one on. So for B is only tension one and that. So which means you are going to have positive tension one minus force of gravity of B which is equals to mass of b times the acceleration that would be equation number two so that is equation number one 
now first thing we want to do we want to find our acceleration so we will add the two uh, we'll try and add the two equations so if we have tension uh, 2 for equation number 1 minus tension 1 right minus force of gravity of mass a equals to mass a times the acceleration so that's equation 1 so if we add that with equation number 2 which is basically equation number 2 is tension 1 positive tension 1 minus force of gravity of, of B then this is equals to mass of B times the acceleration now if you check there if you check really well uh, you can see that you've got a negative tension and a positive tension so they're going to cancel out right what you would be left with now is you have your so after adding the two you will have tension two minus force of gravity of a minus force of gravity of b and this is equals to mass of a times the acceleration plus mass of b times the acceleration now you're going to factorize the acceleration on the other side so on this side you will have tension 2 minus ma times the gravitational acceleration minus mb times gravitational acceleration equals to acceleration into mass a plus mass b then if that's factorized then when you are done you can then say that tension 2 minus mass a times the gravity minus mass b times the gravity all over mass a plus mass b this is equivalent to the acceleration of this system so once you're done it's meant of substitution so it's just going to be 200 newtons minus mass a is 5 times 9.8 and then minus b which is 3 times 9.8 then afterwards it's just to go once on your calculator and find the answers okay so and you will find that all of that needs to be divided by okay mass a and mass b which is five plus Three, which is eight. So you should find that your acceleration is positive and it's upward, so it's fifteen point two meters per second squared. Right now, that leaves us with only one question: is to find the tension so you can go either to equation one or equation two so i'm gonna go to equation two it seems very simple so i'm gonna go to equation two so i'm going to say the tension one is equals to mass of b times its acceleration plus its i'm just gonna uh, plus its force of gravity which is basically mass of b times the acceleration let me 
write it properly. Okay, so times the acceleration, then plus plus m of b times the gravitational acceleration. So this is just going to be you substitute mass b was three kilograms. So it's going to be three times 15.2 plus 3 times 9.8 and then you just basically put that in the calculator and that should give you that tension 1 is 75 Newtons. Okay, if I'm only looking at mass B, tension will be upward. Okay, so there we go. That's how we work out um, Newton's second law problems that are like that. And the force is acting vertically upward. Right, if you like this video and if you have learned something useful, then subscribe, like, and get more videos like this.